Okay, all right, so here is the deal. I just got off a red-eye flight, an overnight flight from LA to New York City, and I don't sleep well on those planes because the seats aren't made for people my size. It's more for the average size person. For you damn you average size people, and the headrest hits me right here, and I just can't get comfortable. And anyway, what I'm trying to say is I'm tired AF right now, which means I am incapable of bullshit, which means I probably shouldn't be talking on camera right now, but I love to talk. I'm a talker. Talking is fun. Talking is good. But I might regret what I'm about to say, and it's probably not a good idea for whatever. Listen to this one. I have decided that after the Invincible season in 2004, Arsene Wenger became a secret employee of Spurs. They just dumped so much money on him because no one tortures Arsenal supporters quite like he does. And speaking of Spurs, I, for probably the first time ever, want to congratulate them for their complete performance on both sides of the ball against Chelsea. It was an impressive display, and now the challenge for them is to play like this, like title contenders every single week. Also, who was giving me a hard time in the comments about putting Deli Ali as one of my top three young players in the world for the Jimmy Awards? Because since that video dropped, the dude has scored seven goals in his last four games. I once heard that Sir Alex Ferguson didn't want Manchester United to hire Jose Mourinho after he retired because he feared that Mourinho would break all the records that he set, which, if true, makes me understand a whole lot more why he wanted David Moyes hired, because he knew that Moyes wouldn't break shit. Also, how can I, or we, feel good about ourselves when a man that has done everything that you can possibly do in this sport has the title of Sir in front of his name and has a statue of himself outside of Old Trafford, kind of like Michael Jackson at Craven Cottage a few years ago, be so insecure? I mean, I guess he wants his legacy to endure, but who cares if people are talking about you after you're dead. You're dead! Also, I've decided that MLS Commissioner Don Garber is in legacy mode as well. After his unfortunate health scare a few years ago, and I'm glad he's doing better, he signed a new contract and I'm pretty sure he said to himself, you know what? I'm gonna let the next commissioner deal with the promotion relegation issue in this country and taking off the handcuffs for the clubs known as the single entity structure and instead focus on getting as many expansion teams in the league as possible so I can forever be known as the commissioner of growth that I inherited a league of 10 teams and expanded it to 30 teams and then I'm just gonna drop the mic, baby. And since we're talking about MLS, can we get one of the MLS clubs to win the CONCACAF Champions League this upcoming season so that I can see one of our clubs compete in the FIFA Club World Cup? Is that too much to ask? Or can Call Me Bull throw an invite to an MLS club to participate in the Copa Libertadores like they do with the Liga MA Keys teams? We're part of North America too! And I know, the travel would be insane, I get it, but still, what an experience. And it would give our clubs and our teams and our players a chance to earn some respect if they played well. Or it could do the opposite and be an unmitigated disaster like Bob Bradley at Swansea. Not that I think it was all Bob's fault, but he's not free from blame. And speaking of bald managers in England, what's going on with Pep Guardiola? Is it just mind game manipulation with this complaining about the referees after they beat Burnley? Or talking about how his goodbye as a manager has already started? Or how he mentioned to his famous author, friend from Spain, that Manchester City are a second tier team like Villarreal in La Liga? Which is total bullshit, by the way. I mean, could you imagine Manuel Pellegrini saying that? He would have been vilified. Or maybe he finally inherited a team that needs him to manage a lot more than he ever had to before because his previous clubs like Barcelona and Bayern Munich could probably win most games without even having a manager at all and now Pep's just over it. Or maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. Sir! And say what you want about China throwing obscene amounts of money at every single big name player available and some not so big. I think it's having the desired effect because I desperately want a Shanghai Shenhua Carlos Tevez jersey to go along with my autographed ones from Nicholas Anelka and Didier Drogba. Yeah, that would complete the collection, It'd be like a trifecta. Totally want that. Somebody hook me up. Okay, that's enough of me rambling. Me need some sleepy time. Later.